Hey, it's Sol, and this is Warcraft Weekly. At least I'm, I'm pretty sure it is. Days have been kind of a, kind of a blur lately. But as always, you can support the channel by liking the video, subscribing for more WoW coverage, and catching me live wherever I'm live. One week from today, I, along with many of you, will be taking part in the early access release of the War Within, while the rest of y'all like sleep or maybe watch us through the roll. You know, watch us go through like the roller coaster of emotion as our plans are shattered in the face of tech issues with, with friends telling us, "Oh no, sorry, dude, I couldn't make it," and you know, changing our plans just. Because this is only part one of the release too. The general release of the War Within begins August 26 at 3 p.m. Pacific, and well, that's when the real sh show begins. I will be here for early access. I have been experimenting throughout the week, and I'll be multi-streaming on both Twitch and YouTube. So drop by and show some support. But let's talk about the problems for you coming not during the early release, but for the big launch. When the expansion officially launches next next Monday, head over to Twitch, not YouTube, thanks YouTube, but to Twitch for some cool stuff. There's a support a streamer promo for this, the Watcher of the Hunter's Pet. It goes on for a whole last month, so well into season one of The War Within. And what you do is you gift two Twitch subscriptions to your favorite World of Warcraft streamer while they're live and streaming World of Warcraft. There's no special list of streamers this time around. Anyone meeting this criteria is eligible. And just in case you choose to support me, you can follow me over on Twitch so you know when I'm live. Also starting is the usual drops promotion, where if you watch any participating streamer for four hours, the same criteria, you'll receive the Ghastly Charger mount. It's a trading card game mount that reportedly sold for well over $1,000. Well, not anymore. The drop ends on September 19th. It's a little bit shorter than the sub promo, but I'm going to take a guess here. The week of the 19th is when the Mythic Raid opens. I'm not going to be surprised if there's a second drops promotion for the race to world first that happens like right after it. I mean, maybe it could be exclusive to those streams. Maybe it could be for all streamers again, but I'm going to expect something for that weekend and we'll keep an eye on that. Meanwhile, let's take a glance at the new roadmap for the first few weeks of The War Within. There's nothing new we don't know already, and of course I'm going to fill you in the Monday before reset so you have a clear picture of what's what. We still haven't seen an official blog post detailing what's happening during the early access period, but I'll help you understand, I guess, the vision of their intent. Just keep in mind that nothing is final until we do see an official post. Think of the early access period from the Thursday start all the way to the first daily reset after the general launch as like one very long regular day in the World of Warcraft, but without any of the daily features enabled. So we could level, we could do the campaign, we can run preseason delves and normal aka follower dungeons. We can get one time rewards like reputation from quests and profession treasures and first craft bonuses. We can unlock the earthen allied race, but the day after general release on the first official reset of the expansion, which is Tuesday morning for the US region and Wednesday for the EU region, that is when things really get started with, you know, weekly activities and quests and, or meta quests, as they're going to be calling them. We'll start seeing crafting orders from patrons, you know, NPCs to help develop our professions. Gatherers will start collecting bits of knowledge from the stuff that they're picking up. Special cooldowns for professions can be used like researching or transmutes or cloth making. Rares are going to start appearing and dropping bits of more reputation and a round of world quests will start coming in. The end of that first week is still just one week. Early access or not, that doesn't change. Now, there are advantages, obviously, to jumping into early access, but we can safely argue that it's less of this definitive head start that can never ever be made up for. It's more like an opportunity for a big payoff, because I have a feeling that there are going to be some smart ass players who won't have purchased their way into early access, but are quote, doing it anyway. Like, truth be told, I don't know if it's possible, but I don't see why anyone wouldn't be able to do this, as in purchase and resell goods on the auction house between early access and general launch. That is, you know, selling this war within materials and stuff like folks are going to be sniping. They're going to be, you know, they're going to try and undercut and try to catch unsuspecting posters in hopes for an easy flip. You know, they're going to monitor traffic and make plans. It's going to be kind of chaotic. And some people are seriously freaking out over it. But I love the chaos and I'm excited to see how it all plays out. And there's some really good news coming from an interview that Max from Team Liquid did with associate game director Morgan Day. Now, those conversations, they're more on the higher skill down than I'm 
invite you to watch the whole thing if you're interested. I'm going to leave a link to that in the description below. I'm just going to cherry pick the thing that will affect everyone in what I think is a net positive. The topic was on crests. And well, you know how when you're on a character and you graduate from a crest level, as in, you know, all your gear is high enough that you don't need that crest anymore. Currently, as in right now in Dragonflight, that unlocks a vendor purchase where we can take these now useless crests and then, you know, spend them to upgrade them, I guess, to a higher level. It's it's great for folks like me who stay at a certain level and we can slowly upgrade our gear even further. So it looks like Blizzard is going to add another perk. At any time now, we can see an announcement where our alts get a crest discount whenever we graduate from this crest. So using Dragonflight terms, if our main character is like geared to the nines and they only need aspect crest to upgrade gear, all of our alts will have a roughly 30% crest discount when using whelplings or drakes or worms for upgrades. Or maybe this will work for aspects. Like if someone is fully, fully geared out, maybe they'll even spend fewer aspect crests. So if it costs 15 per upgrade now, maybe it'll cost 10 to have like a nice clean number. I know folks might be like, nah, I'd rather have crest transfers and the like, and I totally get that. But when we put everything on the table, like this new discount and the Flightstone discount and trading Warbound gear to all to Warbounds in general with all this shared credit, this feels like a bigger deal than it first seems. In this case, the more alts we use, the greater the benefit we'll see, right? Meanwhile, someone like me who only uses like maybe one alt as a joke, you know, we'll see a noticeable but much smaller benefit. This feels like the best compromise. Like it's not a warband hand-me-down, it's a discount. The new character gets a boost, but they still have to do the work, but I guess 30% less work. Uh, the only question that I have right now is what about crafted gear? Because the expectation is that the percentage discount on the upgrade NPC that we'll see, it should also apply to that vendor who sells the special materials that are bought with the crests. But do you think this is enough for alts or maybe do you think this is too much? The floor is open for you to share in a comment. This week was less news and more hype with a killer cinematic that recapped the story of Valeria and at last the exposition that shows her transformation from this to this. Testers got to check out the event that kicks off the War Within expansion as well. A playthrough is up on the channel if you really want to watch it, but I'll at least tell you now, it's it's fairly brief. You do it at your own pace without like escort quests or anything like that, and you should play it with the music on. The music it does a really good job of bringing in the vibe of what's happening. Meanwhile, interviews are starting to trickle in. I mentioned the one with Morgan Day. There was a WoW cast going over War Within features, lots of blog posts, and it's going to keep going. I asked this a little while back, and I'm going to ask this again. Are you hyped? I'm a mix of super hyped and also really burned out from covering all this profession stuff over the past couple of months. It's kind of an interesting twist compared to previous expansion coverage where I'd learn like a tiny bit of everything and present it all to you. So like I know the what's what with professions for the most part, but I barely know well, I barely know Jack about what happens at max level. So at this point in the beta, I'm trying to play catch up and you can expect some more mini guides to help sort out the insanity over the coming days and weeks. I think this is going to be fun and I can't wait till next week when I can finally just, you know, sit down and play and, you know, I'm going to be right here with you. And God knows how many other creators and fellow streamers all sharing in, in this energy is like, ah, oh, let's go. Anyway, that's the show. And it would be great if we can keep sharing the energy together by coming back here and joining me live and, you know, having, a, you know, just hanging out. You know what I mean? As you can see, like this thing is official. I got more product up, you know, that between this and, and the cup and everything. Uh, the wet shirt is live and a link is, uh, you know, a link to the store is below. Uh, it's swag, but hey, seriously, don't get it for me. Don't get it to support me. Get it for you. I seriously make as little money as I can for this. So I just designed these for fun. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get back to work, expect a reminder video and a feature on the many, many, many add-ons for the war within. And when news breaks, of course, I'll be here for it. A huge thanks to our friends over on Twitch and to everyone who joined me live on YouTube. Uh, thank you very much for coming and I hope you keep coming back. Lots of love to our fellow patrons and we can't forget about you. Viewer, you made it to the end. You're part of the algorithm squad. Don't forget it. Now just leave a comment, share your thoughts, and let's freaking go. Stay safe, stay healthy, and stay breezy.